Hey everyone, this is the Beer Zealand. This is going to be my unboxing of the Star Wars Hot Toys uh, Force Awakens Stormtrooper. It just says SW7ST. I guess it's their new coating on the front of the box because it would be kind of weird to have a big brown box in front of your house that says like Chewbacca. People might be inclined to take a look at it, but they just see Hot Toys. You're just like, oh, what's it? So maybe that's why they're doing it. I don't know. But. Or it could just be they're like, oh, we're spending too much money on ink. Uh, this is, I'm actually really excited about this one. More so than the, the Heavy Trooper. Because I just like the design of the basic Stormtrooper whatsoever. A lot of people actually uh, 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 mislabel these videos as reviews. Uh, this is just the unboxing. Uh, I can't accurately review a figure right out of the box. I gotta mess with it for a little while, for a couple days at least. Mess around with the articulation and everything. And see how the figure is. I'm not just gonna put it out of the box like, oh yeah, that's great, or it's garbage. You know, I have to mess around with it. See how it, uh, see how it stays after the honeymoon phase of getting a new figure. You know what I mean? So, these unboxings are not reviews. I just wanna make that clear. It's just to show you what's in the box and you know how it's packaged and everything and what it looks like when it comes out of the box. So here is the actual first order stormtrooper. I like that a lot. It looks really cool. Let's go ahead and crack this thing open. E. Alright, now I'm gonna bring the camera over. As usual. Angle down, as usual. All right, and as you can see, it's got a very similar design to the um, Heavy Gunner Trooper, and I like this a lot. <laughs> I really do like this whiteness here, which I said it's like a hothy white in the Heavy Gunner, but it's more of a Star Killer base white, but still, you know what I mean? Snowy. <laughs> All right. Oh, <laughs> I just love like how. What am I hitting? I don't know. I just love how white this thing is. Just like how bright, you know, like the white just shines out. This looks great. Okay. Uh, actually, I don't think there's going to be any major concerns that we don't already know about next to the Heavy Trooper, but let's go ahead and take a look at the instructions. I mean, these should be basically the same. It is basically just the same figure, minus the vest. Alright. Yep, we only have two instructions here. Tells us about the magnets and the guns, which, you know, we already knew about, thanks to the Heavy Trooper. Uh, the 20 degree toes, so this has the rubber feet as well. And uh, parts of the figure are non detachable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't pull the indicator neck piece, otherwise it may be damaged. That's so weird that it shows the, uh, the uh, squad leader there. I don't know if it does that on the Heavy Trooper or not, but look at that. It's got the Squad Leader Pauldron right there. That's, uh, that's strange. This is, this is the normal one. I mean, I do have the Squad Leader coming in a couple of months, but... Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah. I like this. I like this. I like this. Oh, my God. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. This is amazing. Oh. I just love this first order short trooper design. I can't help it. I geek out over it. I mean, there's some people that absolutely hate this. I don't understand why. I think it's better than the original short trooper design. And I, I love that original short trooper design, but this is just a perfect evolution of what the short trooper should be. And I love that. I love that. Alright, pull that up with that there. All right, let's see if this one, oh, I've got a scratch on the base. Wonderful. All right, I'm gonna try and argue with Sideshow on that one. All right, let's see if this, if this one clicks, it just kind of goes in there. That one clicked, okay. The heavy gunner did not. So I think that's about the height where the crotch grabber should need to be. All right, let's go ahead and Pull him out of the box, get the plastic off his feetles, as I called it in the uh, the heavy gunner. 
I think I hit the camera. I always seem to do that. Yep, it does have the, the, the rubber feet. It's no big deal. That's just something you're going to have to be careful of. I have a little black dot right there on that foot. <laughs> That's no big issue. I'm not even going to try and pick at it because I'll probably end up chipping the rubber. Now, this is something I said in the Heavy Gun Review, and it's pre prevalent here, too. It looks like they want you to take this damn belt off to get this plastic off. But there's really no way to do it. If you not to remove the armor, then it's like, hey, you gotta remove the armor. There we go. Oh, I got it. The belt's actually a little crooked out of the box. That's kind of... Yeah. Okay, let's go ahead and put it in. Earn distend. There we go. Let's look at his accessories real quick. Hand pegs. Of course, gotta get hand pegs. I noticed for the heavy gunner that these hand pegs feel small. They really do feel small, like inside the armor and everything. So I'm thinking they maybe should have sized these up just a little bit because I know they do make different size hand pegs for you know, different figures and everything. And these are just the standard. Now, kind of wish they'd use a little bit bigger ones. But, uh, yeah, uh, the, like the same open palm. That looks, oh, I love this hand a lot. Uh, let's see. There's a fist. There's another fist. Trigger finger. And another trigger finger. So yeah, that's awesome. Uh, we only get uh, five hands. Well, uh, seven, counting the ones on the hand uh, on the figure already. But man, it's not, what, what, what do you really need with this guy? <laughs> he needs to hold his gun, and that's about it. <laughs> get the little blaster pistol, which I don't know the actual code names of these yet. So you have to forgive me. I can't call it like an E11 or something because I don't know what the actual name is. And here's the actual blaster rifle. And that looks really nice. And we're done with the packaging. <laughs> it's empty. Okay, now let's go ahead and look at this figure real quick. This is going a lot faster than the Heavy Gunner. So let's check the articulation. Oh, actually, it's stuck inside the armor. There we go. Yep, it's just as limited as the Heavy Gunner. Oh, he had kind of... Not really. Not really. Yeah, see, these arms, not stri restricted at all, really. So I like that. I like that a lot. Like I said in the Heavy Gunner uh, unboxing, I almost said a review. <laughs> the, uh, uh, the, these elbows, you're not really going to have to worry too much about these elbows cracking or anything because they don't really crinkle up too bad. It's the knees. <laughs> I mean, ugh, look at that. Uh, uh, that worries me. But, yeah, otherwise, um, I think these elbows should be just fine. And the arms you're not going to have to worry about at all because they're sewn in. So, the rubber piece up here is just for decoration. It doesn't actually really mess with the articulation whatsoever. And I find that this piece wants to rotate after you get the hands off and everything. Like, this piece will come off. But, you know, that's no big issue. Alright. So, that's going to be it for this unboxing. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, leave them in the comments down below. We'll get this guy posted up, get some pictures taken. Get a review of him sometime soon-ish. Oh! Look at this. Oh, look at that. Oh, it does that. It does that thing. How's this? Why does this work? What do I do? Oh, I don't know. Okay. Maybe. I don't know why it needs to do that, but... Sure. I'll take it. Sweet. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, that's gonna be for this uh, unboxing. Have a question, I'm sure it's in the comments down below. Oh, wait, let me show this real quick. Cause I forgot to show this in the, the Heavy Gunner, and I'm probably going to catch shit for it. But the magnets worked really well.
And this is, let's see how this one goes on. Yeah, I'm, I'm never really gonna ever put that there, but you can put it there. I mean, pistol. It's gonna stay there for me. But yeah, um, uh, yeah. Bye. See you next video.